Starts now with breaking news. Breaking overnight and into the early morning, the riots meant to bring justice to George Floyd's death have left another person shot and killed while chaos reigns over the city. Jason, we have seen a whole lot of fires, uh, violence, rioting. We will let you know and show you what we've been following overnight. We are so glad that you are watching us here on WCCO, also streaming on CBSN Minnesota, but a dark morning for this state, for this city. The last 12 hours of protests for George Floyd have made a chaotic turn, and this morning several parts of the city are on fire. It's happening right now. Feels like the anger is only growing. Protests have turned from very peaceful to very panicked and violent as riots in the city escalate. Breaking overnight, we learned at least one person has been killed during the riots. Police say he was found shot lying on the sidewalk of Lake Street. Officers were able to get to him. This reportedly happening outside or inside a pawn shop in this area. But that man later died at the hospital. Much of the area between South Minneapolis and Uptown is in ruins right now. This is a live look down Lake Street, which has been sort of the epicenter of this activity. Our crews are headed towards Chicago Avenue. But Lake in Minnehaha has been a focal point for sure. Looting at a target, fires all over the place, and fires burning in some places right now. Let's get to Christian Cordero, who's live in our newsroom, monitoring the latest developments as they come in from all over the city overnight. Christian. Well, Jason, we're inside right now to protect our own safety as our crews throughout the night witnessed so much chaos. Several buildings are on fire. Local businesses have been robbed. One person, as you heard Jason say, was shot dead at Lake in Bloomington, which for context is about a mile from the third precinct where so much of this anger is focused. This is Skycam video we want to show you of that massive fire overlooking the area near Lake Street and 26th Avenue South. Several reports suggest that it was an affordable housing complex under construction. It has been burning for hours. We've heard from people saying that they could feel the radiant heat from blocks away. The riots have spread throughout the city, though. Our photographer Joel Thurston shot this video overnight of people looting uh, in and around Calhoun Square in Uptown. One of several places broken into overnight, including the target on Lake and Minnehaha earlier. Minneapolis Police Chief Madera Arredondo, who you just saw, spoke with us about the looting, urging peace. We really cannot tolerate uh, uh, criminal behavior that really threatens the safety and well-being of others out there, uh, as well as the, the men and women who are trying to keep the peace out there. We have heard from several other businesses that are either on fire or getting broken into. Of course, Jason, we have a whole lot going on right now, and we'll keep you updated as we hear it. Okay, Christian Cordero, thank you. We know that rioters have destroyed many businesses right along Lake Street, working their way into Uptown overnight. Some of the major ones we know about, an auto zone went up in flames. Cub Foods in that area also burned in both Target and High Lake Liquors have been broken into and looted. Target said it closed this location earlier last night to try to keep employees safe. The store, though, quite a bit of looting there.